Good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Gail. Today we're going to be doing a short, sweet morning flow to help you get your day started and so you can feel really good all day. So let's start in child's pose. Come onto your hands and knees. Sit back on your heels and if this is uncomfortable, you can place a blanket underneath your knees or you could place a blanket behind your knees And if none of this is comfortable, you can leave your hips up. But if you can, bring your hips to your heels. And stretch your arms forward. Let your forehead rest on the floor. If it doesn't reach the floor, you can place a folded blanket underneath your forehead. And focus on your breath. Breathing into the back ribs. Feeling them rise and fall. So that just the breath brings movement and the more we can really discover this for ourselves the more rich and deep our practice is going to be and the healthier we will be because the breath is key the breath is huge or walk your hands over to your right stretch your left hand as far to the right as you can and shift your hips over to the left breathe into the left side ribs Again, feel that movement, the breath moving, the ribs lifting them and separating them a little bit with each inhale, relaxing them with each exhale. And walk your hands back over to the left, stretch your hips over to the right, reach that right hand, breathe into the right ribs. Feel that sweet, full movement that the breath brings. Walk your hands forward. Come up onto your hands and knees. Place your wrists directly underneath your shoulders, your hips directly over your knees. And we're gonna do some wrist warm up. So you can either turn your fingers to the side, bringing your heels or your hands as close together as possible and shift from side to side. Or if you can, rotate your fingers towards your knees, spread the fingers, again, have your hands hip width apart, and start to rock forward and back. Now the closer you bring your hands to your knees, the less of a stretch it'll be. So if that's what you need to do, do that. Otherwise, you can bring your hands further forward. And try not to let your shoulders rise up at your ears, but keep some nice space there. Really feel the stretch on the inside of your wrist and even into the fingers. And then start to peel your wrists away from the floor, really getting into those fingers. Shake it out. Bring your knuckles together, bring the back of the hands to the floor, elbows wide, and then exhale, straighten your arms, push into the floor. And go back and forth like this. Another option is the whole back of the hand on the floor. Notice from my wrist to my fingertips is on the floor. And I'm going to rock forward and back. So now we're stretching out the back of the wrists. It's really healthy for the hands and the wrists. Then come back into your tabletop position. And we're going to do some shoulder flossing. So keeping the belly somewhat active, begin to lower your chest toward the floor and lift your chest away from the floor. So notice my elbows are not bending. I'm not doing any type of push up. It's really trying to floss the shoulders, lubricate the shoulder joints. This is so important. And we'll add some cat-cow movements. So really starting to arch the spine forward and up. Really trying to get into the upper back and then round your spine, pulling your belly up towards the spine. I'm going back and forth slowly between these two opposite shapes. That really helped to get space, or create more space between the vertebrae, maybe get rid of some of some fascial adhesions that are keeping your back tight. It doesn't feel good to have a tight back. It feels good to have a nice supple smooth back. So I feel like you can't do too many cat cows. 
Good, then come back to a neutral position and just kind of sway your hips from side to side. Nothing, no exact way to do this, just move around. Walk your knees back. We're gonna come onto our bellies and the forearms and do a little core work. So it's important that your elbows are directly under the shoulders, not back. Right under the shoulders and push into your hands. It's enough to lift the elbows off the floor slightly. So you feel the core starting to activate. Then lower down. Puff up into your back ribs. And then grab the floor with your hand, grab the floor with your toes, and stretch your heart forward. And release. And inhale, puff up into the back again. So the front ribs knit in, the back puffs up, and then you grab the floor with your hands, squeeze your legs, and stretch your heart forward. So you're getting length in your low back. Then tuck your toes. Here comes the forearm plank. So press your hands into the floor, start to lift your ribs, and keeping your knees on the floor, just draw your front ribs in towards each other. Press the floor away with your hands. Squeeze your legs in, and it should feel actually like a lot of work right here. So try and resist the temptation or the tendency to let all the weight go into your elbows and push into your hands. Good, and lower down. Take a break. Rest your forehead on the back of your hands. You can shift your feet from side to side. The quicker we can really relax and let go of tension, the more efficient and effective our work can be. So we're gonna do two more of these forearm planks. So again, elbows directly under the shoulders, start to press into your hands, lift the ribs up, tuck your toes, and keep lifting the hips. I'm not lifting the hips way up. I wanna stretch, like forward with the heart, back through the heels, and then keeping the back just the way it is, just lift your knees up off the floor, press into your hands, Keep the low back long. So keep that feeling of length we just created in Sphinx Pose. Press your heels back, squeeze your legs in. Press into your hands, gaze forward of your fingertips. Good, and lower down. Relax again, rest your forehead on the back of your hands. Bend your knees, pull your feet from side to side. And the last one, tuck your toes. Elbows under the shoulders, press into your hands, gather your ribs in, lift up through your core, lift your knees, push into your hands, push back through your heels, forward through your heart. Hug the midline with your arms, with your legs, with your ribs. Soften your neck, gaze forward of your hands. Keep hugging in, lifting up, stretching long. Go ahead and lower your knees back down. Come back into your tabletop and we'll do some gentle twists. So we're gonna move from the core and from the back. So start to open up through your right shoulder, pushing into your left hand, reaching up through the right hand. And then bend your elbow, reach across, and inhale, back up. Nice open twist. So keep the core engaged as you twist. Reach across. And back open and then lower your hand down we'll do the same thing other side so start moving from the back opening up reaching across following the breath breath is the boss breath leads the way one last twist here good come back onto your hands and knees Step your right foot forward, take some blocks or books or anything to give your, yourself, your hands a little more height from the floor. And start to stretch your chest forward as you take your shoulders back, so press the knee forward, let that back thigh lower a little bit towards the floor. Maybe come into a slight bit of a back bend if you can. And stretch over your legs, reaching your heart forward as you reach your hips back and glide back and forth between a hip flexor stretch in the back leg and a hamstring stretch in the front leg. We're just gonna do one more of these. You can do as many as you want on your own. 
following the breath. And then come back to your lunge position and your blocks to the inside of your foot. Forearms rest on the blocks and start to glide around. Now you don't have to use both blocks. You don't have to use any blocks at all. The more blocks you have, the gentler the stretch, the fewer blocks, the deeper the stretch. And just move around in any way, just really exploring the, the hips. And then we'll do the same thing on the second side. So bring your blocks back out to the side, step your left foot forward, get into that right hip flexor by stretching your heart forward, shoulders come back, the back leg will lower a little bit closer to the floor, and then pull back, bowing over your front leg. Move nice and slowly so that you can feel the richness of each movement. Now when I'm bowing forward, I'm trying to keep a flatter back rather than a rounded back. So the closer my ribs are to my thigh, the flatter my back can be, and that's when it helps to have the blocks under your hands. Good, shift your hips back and then come forward. Now you can use the blocks however you want. This time I'm gonna use two blocks next to each other, some on a lower height. And again, it's kind of like you're just swishing the hips around. It feels so good. Every movement can be an exploration and place of new discovery if we decide to focus on that and let our minds be present with our breath and with this moment. So come off blocks, walk your hands back, and just come into a squat. So if a squat is not available to you right now, you can take a block, place a block underneath your hips. You can also take a blanket and place the blanket underneath your heels. Whatever you need to do to start practicing opening up the Achilles tendons, opening up the calves, the hips, so that you can squat easily. And this should be really like a daily practice, like squatting a few times a day. And now we're gonna come right onto our backs, kind of finishing up this little morning yoga routine. Hug your knees into your chest, just rock around on your hips. Stretch your left leg out as you hug your right knee in. Really reach out between the inner thighs, all along the inner thighs. Feel that big stretch along the inside of both legs. And switching sides. And hug both knees in. Open your arms out to the side. Place your feet on the floor and just shift your hips a little bit to the left. Pick your knees back up and twist your legs to the right as you turn your head to the left. Now for some of you, if this is too much of a twist, you can take a block and place it underneath your knees or between your knees. Or you could do the same thing with a blanket. Or you might not need anything. So just listen to your own body, how it feels on this particular day. Every day is different. Take a big breath in and just let everything go and relax into this sweet little gentle twist. And now the legs back up, place your feet on the floor, shift your hips a little bit to the right, pick your knees back up, twist to the left, turn your head to the right. Again, use props if you need them. They're very useful. They can actually help our nervous system to relax, it can help us to get go to a deeper place. And it might seem like we were ready to go initially, so it's important not to go too far too quickly or to think we're going to make it happen. So we want to be able to relax into things and to listen to our bodies and adapt. 
Good. Inhale the knees back up. Place your feet on the floor. Put your arms by your sides and just a gentle bridge pose. So placing your feet parallel, lifting the hips up, pressing the shoulders down, squeeze the legs in. And then slowly one vertebra at a time from the upper back, start to lower back down. Hug your knees into your chest. Little rocks side to side around in circles. And if you want a little extra hug for yourself, just hug your face in towards your knees. Then lower down again, stretch out your legs. Something I love to do is to lift the shoulders up and then lower the ribs down and just kind of spread out to the shoulders to lengthen the back just a little bit more. Make sure your palms are facing up and just let your whole back relax. Focus on the exhale. And the ribs softening and all that tension just flowing out of your body. And you're welcome to stay here for as long as you want. I'd advise you to stay for at least a minute or two. And at the end, when you're ready, if you like this video, please click on the like button below. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'd love it if you left a comment. You can let me know any videos that you would like me to make for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Namaste.